Predicting the future can be quite challenging. You see, over the past decade, certain gadgets have significantly shaped our world, while others were made just so we could see how badly they would fail and learn from it. Now, for the fun of curiosity, we've made a list of the 10 biggest tech flops ever. So guys, join us as we look into why these gadgets failed. Were they poorly planned or just too advanced for their time? Let's dive in. Number 10, Amazon Fire Phone. You might remember this one. It could be tucked away in your memory from as far back as 2014. The Amazon Fire Phone generated a lot of excitement when it was introduced in June 2014. People were big fans of Amazon, so the idea of this successful online shopping giant creating a phone sounded promising. However, the Fire Phone had high expectations to meet, and there was pressure to create a truly impressive piece of technology. But unfortunately, it fell short. The phone received criticism for its pointless and gimmicky features, along with the fact that it couldn't run nearly as many apps as Android and iOS. As a result, the Amazon Fire Phone quickly became a thing of the past. Number 9. The Segway You must have likely come across one of these peculiar-looking vehicles at some point. Segways are undoubtedly famous, but they haven't become particularly popular. Introduced in 2001, the Segway didn't capture the market as successfully as its creators had hoped. It received a lot of attention at launch due to its unique appearance and innovative technology. However, when it came to actual sales, the Segway didn't meet expectations. Its high price was a significant barrier for a new customer base, making it challenging to build a loyal following. Another factor in Segway's lack of success was its failure to clearly demonstrate practical uses. Although Segways are still around, they're far from being a worldwide phenomenon. Number 8. Juicero The Juicero is a name that might ring a bell, although likely not for the most positive reasons. It has essentially become an internet meme, often held up as one of the most ill-conceived inventions of this decade. But what exactly is the Juicero? In contrast to the typical juicers you might be familiar with, the Juicero operates using packets of pre-cut and pre-juiced fruits and vegetables. These convenient pouches are inserted into the Juicero, which then applies pressure to extract the juice into a glass. And that's pretty much the whole story. However, despite its seemingly straightforward concept, the Juicero managed to garner significant attention and notoriety due to its perceived lack of practicality and value. Number 7. The Pulse the Pulse is a smartwatch that comes with its own SIM card, allowing it to function independently without needing to be connected to a smartphone. While it was intended to work like a standalone smartphone, the Pulse's small screen posed challenges for tasks that are typically simple on a regular smartphone, like texting. Adding to the issues, the main feature of the Pulse turned out to be quite ineffective. Its primary purpose was to determine and monitor your mood based on the sound of your voice. However, this mood detection system wasn't entirely reliable and didn't consistently provide accurate results. Critics were quick to point out the futility of the mood identification feature in the Pulse. After all, who really wants to be told how they're feeling when they're already well aware of it? It's fair to say that this entire venture seemed more like a marketing gimmick, and unfortunately, the Pulse ended up being a major failure. Regrettably, even with Will I Am's involvement, the product had to be included in our list. Number 6. Google Glass When Google introduced the advanced Google Glass eyewear in April 2012, many believed it could revolutionize the tech landscape. These glasses, equipped with motion and voice control and powered by Android, aimed to serve as a hands-free smartphone alternative. They promised access to the internet, maps, calendars, a camera, and more. Google positioned Google Glass as a premium tech offering, setting an astonishing price of $1,500, which was notably higher than even the latest iPhone at that time. The announcement of Google Glass created a lot of buzz, capturing the attention of both mainstream media and tech enthusiasts who eagerly discussed the impending launch of this innovative technology. Even the general public began to show excitement. However, the creators and designers of Google Glass never clearly articulated why the product was worth purchasing. The purpose of Google Glass and how it differentiated itself from smartphones was never explicitly stated, leaving this aspect somewhat ambiguous. Number 5. Samsung's Bixby Samsung's Bixby, right from the beginning, experienced a lack of success. Bixby was introduced as a virtual assistant that was once hailed as the future of controlling Samsung's interconnected devices. It was positioned as the response to Apple's Siri and Google's Assistant. We were led to believe that Bixby was a fresh and intelligent interface for our devices, setting it apart from other voice assistants in the market. 
However, this wasn't exactly the reality. Bixby encountered similar issues to its counterparts during its early stages, struggling with understanding voices and accents and possessing limited overall functionality. Its overly cheerful greeting of, Hi, I'm Bixby, followed by unintentional presses of the Bixby button became more annoying than helpful. As a result, Samsung has scaled back the prominence of its virtual assistant so much that you might struggle to even notice its presence in the first place. Bixby has become quiet on your phone, and Samsung, in turn, has become relatively quiet about Bixby. Number 4. The Essential Phone The Essential Phone, despite its seemingly decent appearance, turned out to be a device filled with compromises. Touted as possibly the first to feature a notch on its display, this phone aimed to bring something revolutionary. But in truth, it was just more of the same. Released in August 2017, it had a ceramic back that oddly didn't support wireless charging using the Qi standard. Additionally, the wireless dock that was advertised never actually materialized. While its operating system was marketed as a nearly stock version of Nougat, the reality was that it felt sluggish and laggy despite its minimalistic user interface. On top of this, it lacked water resistance, a significant letdown considering its hefty price tag. The overall performance of both the operating system and the components left much to be desired, failing to provide a satisfactory user experience. After years of struggling to stay afloat, the company behind the Essential Phone eventually closed its doors in February 2020. The Essential Phone had promised a lot, but in practice it suffered from lagginess, bugginess, and frequent crashes. It aimed to position itself as the apple of the Android world, but neglected a crucial element, delivering a seamless and enjoyable user experience. Number 3. BitConnect BitConnect emerged as a type of cryptocurrency entering the scene in November 2016. However, it had a darker truth. It operated as a Ponzi scheme. While BitConnect did experience considerable growth, leading to a sharp increase in the value of its coins, its fate followed the familiar pattern of Ponzi schemes, leading to a catastrophic downfall. In 2018, the founders of BitConnect abruptly liquidated their holdings, causing a massive drop in the value of BitConnect coins. Consequently, Investors collectively suffered losses amounting to a staggering $250 million. The BitConnect saga now serves as a prominent illustration of the need for caution and prudence when engaging in cryptocurrency investments. Number 2. Google's Project R The concept of replacing damaged or outdated phone components with new ones is undeniably intriguing, and that's precisely what Google's Project R aimed to achieve. Despite its innovative design, Project R never made it to the market. So, why did this happen? Back then, Google was fervently working on creating a modular smartphone, a device that would let users interchange hardware components like batteries, screens, processors, cameras, storage units, speakers, and more. The notion was groundbreaking, envisioning a future where you could easily upgrade specific parts of your phone. However, while the concept was ahead of its time, the technology needed to support such an ambitious plan was not sufficiently advanced at that point. Moreover, the project encountered significant opposition from major mobile companies. These companies were concerned that Project Ara could disrupt the established industry structure. On September 2nd, 2016, Google officially announced that they were putting this project on hold to focus on other endeavors. No further details emerged, and there have been no discussions about a potential revival. Number 1. Palmfolio Intended to pioneer the notebook market, Palm's sleek and user-friendly laptop faced a resounding failure upon its launch. Unveiled in 2007, this Linux-based sub-notebook was envisioned as a companion for Palm Trio users, offering the same suite of email, organizing, and web browsing software that had garnered attention for the phones. However, just a bit more than three months after its introduction, the Folio project was abruptly terminated due to an avalanche of negative critiques from reviewers. Concurrently, Palm experienced a significant drop in revenue and the fierce competition in the smartphone industry. Clashing with these developments, the year 2009 witnessed the replacement of the Trio by the Palm Pre. Despite a promising initial sales performance, the Palm Pre eventually played a role in the Palm's acquisition by HP. And there you have it guys. Do let us know what you think about these products in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more amazing content. Thank you for joining us, and see you next time.